No, we'll I mean, for, for me, as, as we take a look at the actual what the, the, the teams look like coming up, you know, it, it saddened me as a Braves fan since the time I was a little one right. to, to see Bobby Cox, right. you know, manage yeah. his last yeah. game. But, yeah. but uh, when, you look, when you go beyond that and you look at what's going to happen, I see the Phillies playing probably mm -hmm. the Rangers because of arms. Right. I, I, I see, uh, I don't see anybody else, you know, doing something with the Yankees. So, yeah, I, I, I think the Rangers will take them out because mm -hmm. of the arms. I think you, you just, uh, once you get past CC Sabathia, mm -hmm. there's nobody to pitch. I mean, right. Pettit's crafty and everything, but he's just not a power pitcher anymore. Right. Uh, but then again, who knows what happens with that. We'll yeah. find out on the yeah. field. Yeah. It starts tomorrow night. We'll find yeah. out on the field. Yeah. Uh, for college ball, let's take a look at what's going on with that. Uh, you know, first of all, you got the Gators. We mm. got beat by LSU in the last second last week. Right. Uh, Florida State, State blows out Miami. Right. And USF's playing. I enjoyed that ball. one. You enjoyed that ball game, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, so there's no red and yellow around your house, garnet and gold around your house. There's no garnet and gold. And the only Hurricanes colors that I have are the Carrollwood Hurricanes t-shirt. Okay. And, I, and Coach Wade will tell you and everybody else will tell you, I'll take it off immediately after the game is over with. Okay. Got another call coming in here. Go ahead, caller. You're on the air on Sports Sound Off. Go ahead, caller. Oh, we lost him. All right. Well, thanks for calling in. Keep calling. Maybe we'll get you in the next time. Um, let's see here. We're talking about college ball. Alabama go is undefeated and... Spurrier. Sir Spurrier yeah. finds his way, yeah. as he always does, yeah. to, to beat those guys. Yeah. Um, I was very surprised by Spurrier and the Gamecocks doing mm -hmm. that. Les Miles comes out and he, he's had some magic the last two weeks, right. you know, finding a way to beat us. But then we've got the fact that now that Alabama's beat, we've got a couple of names to look at that mm -hmm. we hadn't before. Boise right. State, right. which <laughs> people have always said, does Boise State have the the team that's playing anybody right. can we put them in the bcs standings right. you know for me boise state they play on the blue field right. and they're known for that but hey they're there every year right yeah I, you know it's just uh one of those scenarios where where for me having played in the sec i just know how hard it is to go throughout that conference and not get beat not get beaten at all right um Anybody can be beaten in that conference, and I think it's the strongest conference in all of college football and has been for the last few years. Um, I think uh, Boise State definitely deserves an opportunity, whether it's to play for the national championship or not. I'm not sure because I, I, I look at the talent that, that is uh, in the SEC, then I look at what's in uh, the Big Ten or the Big 12, and, and uh, then you go to their conference. And the ACC, you know, um, I look at all, all the conferences, and it, you, you just got to understand, uh, you know, from, from, from an NCAA and BCS standpoint, it really is all about money. <laughs> you no, it know? is. Well, look, we got another team to think about. What about TCU? Right, exactly. These guys are undefeated. They're right. playing Southwestern Conference. Mm -hmm. well, you know, they, right. they can say, we play in Southwestern Conference. This is not, this is, right. you know, nobody to, to right. think, what about us? We're undefeated. Well, as a, as a business-minded, uh, thinking from the business aspect of it, you know, you look at schools like TCU and Boise State. Um, Boise State shouldn't be hard to sell out, considering it's yeah. in <laughs> Boise. It's in Boise. Yeah, and, right. uh, there's there's and, nobody else there. Right. But that's true. Then right. you get Michigan State looked great this week. Right. They beat Michigan. Right. But again, in, in the big house. In, yeah. Again, it's <laughs> yeah. I, uh, where. Where the football up there is completely different than it is. As an there. SEC guy, you're yes. saying, "Hey, yeah. I don't care yeah. what they did out yeah. there. It's not in the SEC." Yeah. You're thinking they don't they don't do this type of thing playing in the SEC. They're playing great. They're playing good football, but I just I just feel like it's a different brand of football week in and week out. They're All not right. Right. not facing what they're facing each each week. Okay. Well, then let's. Let, we were talking about baseball, and we talked about this. I uh, I can't go without saying a little bit about Bobby Cox retiring as right. a Braves fan. Right. Um, like I said earlier, I, you know, for me, you take a look at Maddox and Smoltz mm -hmm. and the pitching staff mm -hmm. that he had and put together, and over a period of 15 years, right. the excellence for that franchise right. Right. from nothing. Right. You know, for me, um, it's a, it was it was sad to see Bobby go, and it was great to see the Giants come out right. and cheer him the way right. they did right. as as they talked about him right. leaving because right. that's just incredible. You know the the type of things that he right. did with that team. I'm looking forward to see what happens now that he's not there. Right. Yeah. Because he was the architect of that team for a long mm -hmm. time. Now, for you guys that are that are Lightning fans, the Lightning are on tonight. In fact, they're on right now. 
against the Canadiens. They'll be in Montreal. Uh, you'll get a chance to watch Stamkos Coast and St. Louis. Um, if you're Lightning fans, we'll be talking more and more about the Lightning here as we go further into the season. This is only our second game. So f- feel free to make sure that we definitely talk about that. Also, we'll have an upcoming guest of Chris Hoven, who's a former Buccaneer mm-hmm. and former Minnesota Viking yeah, lineman. Right. <laughs> you know, yeah. got, very got good it. Guy. Very good guy. Very he's good he's guy. been on IR this year. In right. fact, he was, he was planning on being with us uh, uh, earlier in this season, but he had to have back surgery. Right. And uh, we're looking forward to uh, having him later on. Mm-hmm. So we really appreciate uh, uh, him, and, and we wish him the best, mm-hmm. him and his family. Uh, I want to thank you for being here today. Thank you. Thank you know, you for well, we've really had a great time. Before we go, I uh, I do want to mention one thing. I haven't heard anybody talk about. Actually, I've heard everybody talk about the the sexting scandal. Hmm. You know, Brett Favre apologizes to his teammates here mm-hmm. uh, for the distraction. He right. didn't say anything about what actually occurred. Mm-hmm. And what I saw from Jen Sturger's. Uh, uh, representatives, they were saying this happened two years ago. We right. want to have the right resolution. Right. What do you think about that? Well, it happened two years ago. If it happened, if it happened st- at all, we right. still don't. We still don't know. Um, well, I just think that you know, anytime you're in a public position, whether it be as an athlete or as a as a uh, you know cong- or congressman or right, candidate, right. Uh, police officer, whatever te- teacher, you have to kind of keep yourself out of out of harm's way in a lot of ways. And and uh, obviously, with technology being the way that it is today, you got to very be very mindful of everything. Right. Even when you go out to eat, you know, people yeah. can click a, a video and send it to TMZ. You know, right. this guy was out yeah, breaking. Yeah, you just don't know what you got. Whatever. That's right. Yeah. Well, heck, well, it, we'll keep your advice, and we'll make sure that we keep control yeah. of what's yeah. going yeah. on. I want to th- thank our underwriters and our sponsors, Team Alita, our IT professionals, for making us look good and sound good on the air. I'd like to thank Zudar's Deli, who... Uh, keeps us fed on a regular basis and uh, I need I, to get some of that. Oh, I, I can't go without it <laughs> without a pastrami sandwich from Zudars. We like to thank them for their support. I um, want to thank you for being here and uh, we'll see you next time on Sports Sound Off. Until then, we'll see you in the seats, guys. <laughs>